Hey guys, so I wanted to check out an SSD uh, storage device here from Western Digital, which makes very nice uh, computer components. Uh, this uh, is a very sleek and attractive uh, encryptable storage device, uh, which comes with some of the fastest data transfer speed you can actually get on the market. Uh, this is a one terabyte model where you can get different storage capacitors. Uh, so you can see to showing you here, it's up to 515 megabits per second uh, in terms of the transfer. Uh, you do get three years guarantee back it up as well, which is nice, and also access to the WD uh, backup and security. On the back, you'll see that uh, it's very compatible across platforms here. So you've got Windows 10, 8.1, and 7 compatibility. Uh, you're also on Mac OS, uh, you're compatible with Sierra, El Capitan, and uh, Yosemite as well. Uh, so it comes with a Type-C cable, so many laptops have a connector now for Type-C. Uh, but you do also get an adapter for the older type cable. So out of the box, you can see this is what it looks like here. Very uh, slim and attractive design. Uh, particularly like where they've made some grooves here so that it's easier to hold on to. But personally, I'd hold on to the black part uh, to avoid uh, like fingerprints. Uh, but it's very light. So I've got to say, you know, it feels robustly built, like it's going to last you a while. Uh, and, you know, really complements uh, your other technological devices here in terms of design. Uh, the actual box also contains, as I said, uh, your Type-C cable and the adapter here uh, for the older type of USB connection. Uh, you also get a manual here, uh, which you know shows you how to use it. Uh, it's not rocket science, obviously. It works like pretty much any other uh, SSD storage device. And I think also your technical support line as well. So uh, let's uh, just test it out here on my laptop, see how it does perform. Uh, you can see on my Dell, I don't have a Type-C uh, port, which is very annoying, but uh, nevertheless, this little adapter here does come to the rescue. Uh, make sure that you're using the fastest port on your uh, laptop to get the best speed, obviously. Uh, and we're just going to plug this in the side here. Like that. And then if we look on the actual laptop, you can see it's already detected it. Uh, which is good and we should be ready to go here uh, so let's just zoom in so what we're going to try and do is just copy a file to the uh, SSD and see how fast it really is so this is a one gig file on the left you can see and we're going to just copy that across see how fast it does it let's go oh. So you can see that it's extremely fast uh, to copy uh, compared to your conventional uh, either hard drive or SSD. Uh, you know, it takes less than three seconds to do that, uh, which would be very useful for people working like videography, dealing with massive 4K files. So you can see it uh, allows you to install this software. And then you get to uh, icon come on the uh, desktop here which you can see on the left which is the utilities oh and you get a nice pop-up down there as well which uh, shows you you know where the basic information on the passport uh, so you can see you've got a new version of the software here as well so they're keeping you up to date uh, you do get uh, different apps here which you can install uh, so lots of support here. Uh, it's amazing how clever these little storage devices are actually getting. Because uh, it used to be that they were just to you know drag files to, but now you can see you can do a whole load of things on them. You can see it's showing me uh, the status here. If I do a scan, so it's saying smart status passed, and you can raise as well and format it to either XFAT or NTFS. So that's quite good for advanced users. You know, I will leave a link in the description if you want to find out more about this device uh, or purchase it. So do check that out. Hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.